Hello everyone and welcome back to Calabunga Corner Reviews. In this episode, I am reviewing some Mini Mates from Diamond Select, one of my favorite companies working on some of the new Ninja Turtle stuff. They make those awesome banks, they make the Mini Mates, they made one of my favorite things that I reviewed recently, the Magnetic Awesome Bottle Opener of Michelangelo that goes on the refrigerator. I like that. So right here, we have... The mini mates that I am going to review, which is four packages of two mini mates per package. And each turtle comes with a different character. And that's one of the things I really like here is they don't throw in the normal characters that you see a lot of toys of. They throw in characters like Norman or Anton Zack, Bebop in his human form. So I'm excited. I want to go through these. I do have one package I am not opening, but I wanted to put this in here to show everyone. This here is the Toys R Us exclusive, and it has this bright green Donatello keychain instead. These are keychains, not just Mini Mates. They're Mini Mate keychains. I'm going to show the back. The back of the box shows all the different Mini Mates, including that exclusive one for Toys R Us. And now I get to open Michelangelo. And I will throw in one extra Mini Mate review as I will open this blind bag and see who I have. Mikey and Casey Jones. It's kind of an odd pair, but what it reminds me of, which I really like, is the Mondo Gecko episode that recently aired in Season 3 of Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles, where Mikey and Casey go off and meet Mondo Gecko without the other turtles. And there's Mikey. He's a happy turtle, and see, his chucks are on his belt, and it looks like they do come out. Yes, his chucks can be removed from his belt. So you can have Mikey ready for a fight with these little nunchucks. Boo Yakasha! But even better yet, let's have Mikey yelling Boo Yakasha with his interchangeable head. Just taped in here along with the pizza. Ice cream kitty! You want to really talk about flashing back to that episode with Mondo Gecko? Here's a skateboard. Casey Jones has replaceable hands. Let's take Casey's other head out of this here. Here's Casey. And as I pointed out, he has interchangeable hands. You could take off his fight gear and put actual regular hands on him. So now Casey has normal hands. Oh, and he also comes apart at the waist. But what I want to do is remove his head. Oh, look at that. He took his mask away by mistake, and he has a, another face not painted up. So I bet the hair come off of this head, because that is Casey's face right there. Well, let me pull the head off here and put the second head on. His keychain came off. How's the keychain connected? Oh, the keychain is connected at the head. So when I took that off, the head, that fell. In there. Got that on there. And now, with that holding the head, can I take the hair? Doing it. I did it. I did it. I got the hair off. Put that on there. And then, put that back on. There we go. Casey Jones looks the way that I prefer seeing him. With his hair... And his face, not that painted face, or his mask, it's him. Now, I do have one piece here that I'm trying to figure out what it's supposed to be for. It is a little black piece. It looks like it goes around the neck. And there is a sewer lid stand for Mikey. You can make him stand on one leg. And Casey has one of those clear ones, like what I got with Chris Bradford. The skateboard does have the little nub so that Mikey can ride on it. And I love it that Casey actually has three faces. And hello, it is my first toy of Ice Cream Kitty. Meow. Voiced by Kevin Eastman. The turtle's pet that lives in the freezer. I'm going to set them off to the side so we can pull some of the others out of package. Now with Donnie, we have Norman, which is a crane. And his actually says the exclusive Toys R Us on it. Though this one, I believe, is more the exclusive. I don't know if uh, Donnie's sold in other stores. I would hope so. I like that their little cardboards are personalized. They have the turtle plus the other character. Popping them all out of their little areas. We do get a Krang. And it isn't a Krang Prime. It's a nice small Krang. Get little slices of pizza. I like Mikey's full pizza. So you can start having a pizza thing. An ooze canister. Donnie's bow staff has the blade on it. I would have kind of liked to have both versions. Because I'm not the fan of the blade. So that's 
maybe the only disappointment I've had so far with these. So people don't really see, see the blade, I am putting it in upside down. My photo shoots, it's not going to be right there. He does have the mutant detector, which is used in season two to find the ooze. I'm curious, is there a Krang and Norman? There's a Krang and Norman! There is actually a Krang and Norman. All the detail that is in these mini mates is just astounding. I am so impressed. There's actually a Krang in here. I'm not sure I'd want to use them as keychains because I'd be afraid of the heads dropping off and then you lose them all. I think that's my biggest fear with the idea of these as keychains. The heads do come off kind of easy. Now, Donnie has a second head. I like his first head because his first head's the head I'll use more. But the second head is the comical relief head, which is definitely the ones going April's nearby. If we have April walking around, we're going to get this walking behind her. I'm going to open Raph. Raph comes with Anton Zach, which for me, I am excited about. As I mentioned when I got my hands on Chris Bradford, there's not enough toys of the human characters of these guys before they mutate. And they go quite a bit in the show before they're mutants. So it would be nice to have them. Shows the two characters on the cardboard. Now the one thing with that is true about this set is they have a lot of tiny pieces. So I'm going to have to have a nice secure area to put my toys that came with this. Raph has both size and he does have a holster on his belt for his size. He does have a second head, which looks like he's just had a pretty bad fight, but I like the, the smirk on his face, so I'm going to keep that. He came with a sewer lid base, just like his brothers. My favorite, favorite feature that came with Raph is right here in my hand. It is Spike! I'm making all the big deals about the humans that have been mutated, and you only get the mutated version of the toy, but here you get Spike. This is Slash before mutation. Hello, Diamond Select. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, that wouldn't be hard to put with any of the toy series as an extra little feature. I recommend we get a Spike toy in all the other toy lines because that is just too awesome. Now, Anton does not seem to get a weapon. Sorry, Bebop. Woohoo! He's got all these high-pitched screams and everything he does in this series. He has his full outfit, and he has his mohawk. The mohawk does not seem to come off. He's got his visors, which is his thing. And Raph has two more slices of pizza, which can go with Donnie's. And then Raph also comes with three tiny, tiny, tiny throwing stars. And what I love about this is, even though they're so tiny... They made sure to go through and put the detail of the Hamato clan onto these little, 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 weeny, teeny, tiny throwing stars. Which means that these things are like they are in the second episode when they're shown on the news. The thing that brought the Shredder back to New York City. Those throwing stars are that detail. I love this. I really do. I like all the articulation these guys have. I like all the details they're getting, all the little accessories. Diamond Select has gone above and beyond in making sure that Turtle fans have a good toy line in these mini mates. Last is Leo. The leader of the group comes with the ultimate character to be with, which is, of course, Master Splinter. We have, thanks to the all four turtles, where you don't have to buy them just in the blind bags. The cardboard. You don't have to go, am I going to get my favorite turtle? No, you can go out and buy them. Splinter. Look at that face paint job. I'm sorry. Anyone who knows, I have a problem. And that problem is, Playmates did not do the face right on Splinter. So I enjoy it when I see a toy company go through the absolute detail of making sure that Splinter looks epic. He has a tail sticking out here. There is no tail other than that, if you open up his kimono. Leo has an extra head, which I absolutely love, because it is Pizza Face's head. So it's one of the pizzas that control Leo, so you can have 
Leo from that awesome episode where Mikey had to save his brothers. And instead of a pizza slice with Leo, you get the actual Antonio's box. Grappling gun. Leo comes with swords already in his holster, which I think is awesome because that way it made room for all these other features. Your second Leonardo head with him screaming and the <laughs> excellent pizza face head and having the pizza box. Instead of worrying, where are we going to put the weapon? They just left it on him. And then Splinter has a sword and his walking stick. That's the set. That right there is all four of the main sets. We're not opening the other special edition Donnie because we've got a Donnie out of package and we got a Norman out of package. Let's find out what this last one is that I have here in the blind bag and see who is joining my cast of Ninja Turtle characters. We have another Raphael. And he comes with a spike, too. Whoa! Now I got two spikes. I did not know that you got the other characters inside the sets. He is the same Raphael that we just opened. This is my first double, and it taught me a very important lesson for uh, the toys. If you are buying the blind bags, you can wind up with the same characters and the same accessories. This is not something I would have thought. I thought that the ones inside here would be different to try and encourage people to mainly focus on the blind bags. I am going to have a full pizza of extra pizza slices when I'm done. I just can picture all the photo shoots I could do with these guys and all these different accessories. This is astounding. It is amazing. I can't believe they got so much detail put into these characters. True. I did just get a double, and I actually don't mind because I've always wanted a Toy Slash as Spike, and now I got two. I got one for both of my Slash toys. I have one for my regular one, and my one for my Mix and Match Mutation one. Yay! I don't mind at all. I actually am very, very happy about this because <laughs> it's just one of those things you want to know. The faces are identical. It is the same toy. This is a very fun toy series that is out on the market right now. You can find the blind bags at a lot of different comic shops and conventions. I think that it's something that I'd love to try and get the full collection on. And I'm hoping that other fans are doing the same. I have a lot more reviews here on Cowabunga Corner with different products coming up from different companies. Plenty more from Playmates Toys as that is one of the main ones that I work with a lot. But we also have stuff from Color Form coming up. We got some interesting things ahead. Hope everyone will join us. We'll catch you next time here in Cowabunga Corner. Cow